Hi, I'm Kyle Ingham from The Distilled Man, and up next we're going to learn one of the classic gentlemanly skills, how to tie a bow tie. You know, one of the great things about bow ties is that they're great icebreakers and conversation starters with people you don't know. When I wear a bow tie out and about, people always come up to me and they say, wow, is that a real bow tie? Did you tie that yourself? And they're just amazed that it's actually a real bow tie and that I actually tied it myself because for some reason they just think it's so hard to do. But what I'm going to show you in just a second is that tying a bow tie is really not much harder than tying your shoelaces. So to start out, you want to make sure that your collar's popped up, obviously. Uh, but the first thing you want to do before you even start tying is just to make sure that your tie is long enough. A lot of times you'll start out with a tie that's not your right size and you don't have enough fabric and you try to loop it over and stuff and it doesn't work well. So a lot of ties actually have an adjustable band in the back. Uh, you can see this one does here. And many of them, unfortunately this one doesn't, but many of them do have numbers in the back too that correspond to your neck size, which makes it even easier. This one I had to play around with a little bit, but I got it. So what you want to do is put it over your neck, obviously, and you're going to start with one end being a little bit longer than the other. So I usually like to have that on my right side. You could just easily do that on your left side and do this in mirror image. But you want to have one end be two, two and a half inches longer than the other. Okay. What you want to do next is take the long end and actually put it, cross it over the short end, then put it underneath. Meanwhile, you want to cinch that up a little bit. It'll help you if you keep that tight. Then I'm going to take the long end and actually just kind of put it over my shoulder for one second. Then we have the short end. What you want to do is fold that over. And you can see I'm starting to create the bow tie shape here. Then you take that long end that was over on your shoulder, put it over the top, and this is going to form the outside of your bow tie. Now this step is the trickiest because what I'm going to do next is actually put the bow tie back behind through, through a little hole, a little loop. And the easiest way to find that at this point is actually take this up, this side and then take this loop, kind of pull them together, and then that'll help you find the loop in the back. That's right here. You can see that okay. So take that. I found the loop. I put it back through the back. And the nice thing is, you don't need to worry if the bow tie doesn't look great right now, because just like a regular tie, you can actually fidget with it quite a bit and fix it along the way once you've got it into position. And just like tying your shoes, you can kind of pull on both of those loops. You just don't want to pull too far, otherwise you'll pull the bow all the way through. You can see I'm just kind of straightening it out a little bit. And it's funny, some people are sort of freaked out by the fact that bow ties are completely symmetrical. You can see you've got a loop on this side and then the loop on the back. So it's not loop in the front and loop in the front. But that's kind of the beauty of the bow tie is it's not perfectly symmetrical. And in fact, a lot of people when they're preparing theirs uh, and fixing them up actually prefer to tweak them a little bit to purposefully make them look a little askew. So kind of, you know, off to the side so that's it's kind of getting there. I can tie it a little bit more. That's not too bad, huh? So then we'll put our collar down. Final tweak and voila. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I expect to see you all out there wearing bow ties. And if you like this video and you want to see more, you can subscribe to the Distilled Man YouTube channel. Also, if you haven't already done so, you can click on the link below in the description or on screen and get a free copy of my 42 page ebook. Thanks again for watching, and until next time.